How you doing guys? I know it's been such a long time since I uh, put up a video, I've been really snowed under with a bit of uh, uni work, but that's all out of the way, so I thought there's no better way to get back into it with uh, a nice sort of sweet dessert that's perfect to share around with your flat and your family. So I searched ages to find uh, the perfect recipe that gives this dessert a nice fluffy top and a nice thick uh, rich sauce to go along with it. And this recipe is a chocolate self-sourcing pudding. So hope you enjoy it. It's really simple and very quick to make um, with uh, little ingredients. So there's no reason why you can't make it. Rightio, so what we're going to need is a large bowl, grab one of these out, and into this we're going to start with our sort of our wet ingredients, which is uh, one cup of white sugar or caster sugar, um, followed by two tea tablespoons, tablespoons of cocoa that we're just going to put in. And into this uh, dry ingredients we're going to stick in 100 grams of melted butter, Give it a stir around, and this is the base of our actual mixture, believe it or not. So we'll be adding um, one and a third cup of flour to this, and then followed by four teaspoons of baking powder. You might also um, add in a quarter teaspoon of salt, just to uh, break away from the sweetness of everything at the end. Finally, just to finish off our mixture, I told you it's dead easy. We're going to stick in roughly around two-thirds of a cup of milk. We can add in a little bit more if our mixture is not um, runny enough later. And also a teaspoon of vanilla essence. And like I said, give this a nice mix around and you get uh, a relatively thick mixture. But if it's too thick, like I said, add in another third of a cup of milk until you get this nice, smooth, um, but quite thick mixture like I've got here. Given that our mixture is all ready, we can put it aside while we just prepare our baking dish. Um, I've got a quite a large dish here that I'm just going to grease with a little bit of butter just to make sure that nothing sticks when we're cooking it and that when it does cook, it does what it's meant to. It's meant to flip um, when we're cooking it. Talk a little bit about that later. Um, but you can also split this recipe into smaller ramekins if, you, if you'd like. Um, just bear in mind not to overfill because it does uh, rise a little bit and there is a flipping over of the, the, the sort of cake mixture um, so that you've got the sauce on the bottom. So all we're going to do is grab our mixture and just going to evenly spread this across the base of our cooking um, dish. Now we can work on the actual sauce itself. Um, Obviously, it's a self-sourcing pudding, so we want a nice, rich, sort of chocolatey sauce that covers our, our cakey mixture. So what we're going to do is, in a, a smaller bowl, or the bowl you've uh, used and cleaned, um, stick in one cup of brown sugar. I also like to stick in half cup of white sugar. And we're just going to blend this together with four tablespoons of cocoa powder. And we're just going to make it into a nice, sort of fine uh, mixture. Once we have this, we can spread this over our, our cake, cakey mixture that we've got in our thing. Make sure it's nice and even um, and try to get out any of the larger lumps. Smaller lumps are okay, but larger lumps of sugar just sort of crush them up until it's nice, even sort of coating across our, our cake mixture. Now we're going to stick in two cups of boiling water straight from the kettle and this will form our, this will be our sauce, um, believe it or not. So a little trick I've picked up is to grab a spoon and then just tip the water into the spoon. This will prevent the water from digging huge holes um, into your cake mixture if you pour straight from the kettle. So believe it or not, this water on top will end up on the bottom as our cake cakey mixture cooks. It'll rise to the top and it'll almost flip around. Um, you'll see what I mean later and you get this beautiful, nice, rich sauce in the bottom and a nice spongy layer at the top. We're going to bang this puppy into a preheated oven at 180 degrees for around 40 minutes. Good idea to check before, around 30 minutes. Um, you might need to put in a little bit longer. It should have a nice crusty top. And when you press on it lightly, it should there should be some sort of give. That means there's a nice rich sauce beneath it. You don't want to dry it out too much, so don't cook it too long. Um, it's a little bit better underdone. 
it's quite a rich dessert, so obviously you're not going to be cooking this every night, but it's a nice little treat, especially to warm up uh, the nights on those colder, colder nights. So hope you guys enjoy it. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them, and uh, I'll see you next time.